Welcome everyone to Computers and Tech Hardware Donations for Nonprofits and Libraries. Thank you all so much for joining us for today's TechSoup webinar. My name is Becky Wiegand, and I'm the Webinar Program Manager here today. Uh, and I'm happy to be your host for this event. Before we get started, I want to let you know that you can use the chat window on the lower left side of your screen at any time to let us know if you have any tech issues, need help, or have questions for our presenters. If you're hearing an echo, you may be logged in more than once and will need to close additional instances of ReadyTalk. If at any time the audio stream and the slides fall out of sync, we recommend um, dialing in to the alternate toll-free phone number that Susan's chatted out. We do keep all lines muted to make sure you get a clear recording to refer to later and share with your friends and colleagues. If at any time you need to disconnect, you can reconnect using the green Join Meeting button in your emails. You can do that if you have any trouble with the audio or slides. And I recommend if you do have trouble, maybe try it in a different browser. That sometimes solves the problem. Uh, and for those of you that are dialing in by phone, you can feel free at any time to rejoin that phone number or contact ReadyTalk support if you need additional help. We do record these webinars so that they are available on the TechSoup website under our Events and Webinars section of our community. Uh, and you can also find it on the TechSoup video channel of YouTube. Within a day or so you will see it loaded up there. Within a few days you will receive this presentation and the full recording that you can watch again, and any links that we discuss by email from me. You can tweet to us at TechSoup or with the hashtag TSWebinars. When you get your uh, follow-up email, and for those of you who would have gotten the reminder or just registered in the last hour or so, you'll see the presentation attached on the right side under Downloadable Files. And this is that green Join Meeting button to make sure you know how to get back in if you have any trouble. Again, my name is Becky Wiegand, and I'm the Webinar Program Manager here at TechSoup. And I am happy to be joined today by a handful of people. We've got Gail Carpentier who is the Senior Director and Chief Business Development Officer at TechSoup. Uh, she's helped develop the strategic structure of our product donation programs with all of our partners uh, and as a way of helping those partners meet their philanthropic goals and helping nonprofits access a large array of donated technology through TechSoup's programs. I'm really glad to have her on. We are also joined by Matt Bauer who is the CEO and co-founder of Sparrow where he works to build a bridge uh, to help people connect across that digital divide with his innovative buy one, give one mobile model. And you'll hear more about that later. He's a telecom industry veteran social entrepreneur, and an urban farmer. He enjoys exploring the intersection of people, planet, and the broadband economy. And he's also uh, well acquainted with TechSoup for many years, and he's done a number of webinars with us. So you can find more of Matt if you enjoy hearing from him in our webinar archives. We're also joined by Chris Lilly who is the Business Manager at Dell EMC. He works in their IT sales environment and works particularly with small and medium business uh, organizations. And he has helped establish our Dell Affiliate Program here that we'll also hear about later in today's program. So if you're needing Dell hardware, um, not just computers, you'll hear about kind of the wide range of uh, equipment and hardware they offer through their program. You'll also see on the back end Susan Hope Bard who is our Training and Education Manager. She'll be on hand to grab those questions in the chat box. No need to raise your hand. And she'll be here to help you with any technical issues as well. Look at our objectives for today. We hope that you will come away with a better understanding of TechSoup's hardware donation and discount programs that are available for your organization to access. We hope you'll be able to name at least three hardware donation or discount programs that are available to you, and that you'll feel more comfortable in accessing those donations through our website. And we'll do some of this webinar even though there are slides attached. We won't cover all of the slides because we'll do some of it live sharing our desktop. And we'll spend some time answering your questions. But before we get to your questions, we have a question for you that will help guide us on today's tour of TechSoup's hardware programs. What types of techware hardware do you most need in your organization? And this can be what you think you most need today. Maybe it's what you think you need in six months. Are you mostly needing computers, desktops, laptops, tablets? Are you mostly needing uh, mobile devices, mobile phones? Are you needing hotspots? And by hotspots that's where you can have a little thing to plug into your computer or sit next to your computer to give you Internet no matter where you are. 
Are you needing networking tools like routers, firewalls, switches, things to help support your network, servers? Are you needing AV equipment like cameras, projectors, um, music soundboards, things like that? Or peripherals like the monitors, keyboards, mice, things you use, headsets next to your computer? Are you needing office equipment like printers or postage meters? Or is there something else we're not mentioning? Somebody chatted in storage. And uh, that I could consider maybe networking. Sometimes you could consider that a peripheral. It really depends on the view. So I'm not encompassing every type of hardware in my survey. So feel free to chat if I've missed anything. But this will help guide us on what you, our audience today live on the line, uh, is most interested in learning more about because we'll try to make sure we spend most of our time covering those topics. So right now just looking at the poll, poll results, I'm seeing a lot of folks interested in computers. Not shocking. And if there are specific types, more laptops or more uh, desktops or tablets that you really care about, feel free to chat in. And then I see AV equipment as number 2 on that list so far followed by office equipment like printers and postage meters. And I'm just taking some notes while we do this. And mobile hotspots. Great. Well, this is really helpful. And you know, just as a, a general thing, we have stuff in every one of these categories. So if you didn't know that already, now you do. And we'll talk about that as we go through our tour. Before we get started with our presenters, TechSoup is located here in our headquarters office in San Francisco, California. Feel free to chat in to let us know from where you are joining today. And if you are joining us from outside the United States, I mention this uh, TechSoup.Global website because not all of the programs that we talk about today are available everywhere in the world. Some of them are exclusive to the United States. So we will be looking at the U.S.-based program. I would recommend visiting TechSoup.Global and choosing your country to see what hardware options are available where you are. And just quickly covering who can get tech donations, uh, nonprofits and public libraries with 501c3 status, public libraries that are listed in the IMLS database, many foundations and churches. Now, the criteria for who can get what depends on a variety of factors that our donor partners help establish. So, they may say that you are eligible for these programs if you have a budget of a certain size or less. Or they may say if you serve a specific uh, type of community. So this isn't an open slate for everyone to get everything for all the programs. So I do recommend looking into uh, the eligibility requirements and restrictions on any of our programs. But there is a lot available to a lot of organization types. So Keep that in mind. And as we get closer into our, uh, the end of TechSoup's fiscal year, June 30th, which is really just around the corner, I wanted to highlight that there are programs that, are, that reset with the fiscal year, meaning that uh, the ones that are affected by our fiscal year listed over here on the left side, that you can request donated products or discounted products now. And then as of July 1st, you can often request again. So if you need a lot of stuff in the very near future, I recommend acting soon. And then you'll be able to act again as of July 1st. And then we have lots of programs that are not affected by the fiscal year as well. Um, so that's why I linked to this page up at the top, and Susan has chatted it out in the box for you. Um, just to highlight that there are programs that um, may allow you to sort of double dip, so to speak, within a short time frame here between the end of the year and the 1st of July. So we're going to get into donated and discounted hardware. And for that I'd love to have Gail come on just to talk a little bit about the types of things that are available. And I can flip through slides or show my desktop to illustrate um, what kinds of things are available as she talks about some of them. And then I'll hop back on to, to talk about some too. So welcome to the program, Gail. Oh, thank you so much, Becky. It's a delight to be here with everyone. And as Becky had said earlier on, I've had the pleasure of heading up TechSoup's business development since 
a long time, 2001. And so much about how we do online philanthropy are things I had the pleasure of helping make up. And one of the things that became obvious fairly early on is that while it was not difficult to get software donated, there still to this day I have not found the elusive uh, warehouse full of computers or other hardware products available for donation. Occasionally we get handfuls of these, but never in the quantity you all seem to need. And so over the years we've developed a number of different models to make sure if we couldn't get you uh, product donated, that at minimum we were getting you really amazing values from some of the world's best equipment manufacturers. And so that is uh, one of the things that I'm happy to chat with about. And I'm delighted. Thank you, Becky, for doing the uh, overview about what the needs are for this particular group. Because as she mentioned, we do indeed have a tremendous array of products that are available. And I won't take up time talking about Dell since we have Chris online. But Becky, maybe you could bring up the page for our refurbished computer program. And that is something that I also had a lot of fun working with have, goes back to 2004. And we ha were working with large corporations that when they would do a corporate refresh, we would be able to talk to them about donating those computers, which would usually be no more than three to four years old, and then sending them to uh, refurbishers that we have in fact worked with closely to make sure that these are really great values. They come with incredibly low cost software an OS, an office suite. It comes with a warranty. It comes with an opportunity for you to be able to know that you have TechSoup standing behind uh, these equi this equipment that you get. Uh, the other thing, you want to go over to the mobile hotspot uh, tab too. I know that a lot of you are looking for this. We know that libraries particularly find mobile beacons hotspots really uh, of, of importance. And so this is a fellow nonprofit that has worked with Sprint to come up with an incredible low cost, and I'm sure we'll get back to the Mobile Beacon page eventually here. There you go. And so you can acquire this for a minimal amount of money, $10 a year for 4G LTE coverage. Uh, the price of the equipment will vary, but it's as low cost as they can make it. And we've actually seen uh, nonprofits buy these in quantity and be able to – and libraries as well – and let people check them out so they can have Internet ac access wherever they are. And so if you have not taken a look at this, and if you've ever been somewhere where you go, I have no Wi-Fi, and you're really uh, needing to be online, this is a tremendous resource, and I would, can't recommend it more highly to you. And then do you want to go to the next tab on the hardware section, Becky? And we'll get to there in a second because it, it's, it's interesting. Sometimes people will write to me on the forums or directly to go, are you guys going to have hardware? And I can point back to that we have had things like Cisco on board since 2004. Now Cisco has, as Becky said, you know, every one of our programs has slightly different rules. It's one of the interesting parts of TechSoup is that we recognize that corporations really care who they give to. And just as much as I am always interested in who Becky is donating to, I'm, I'm not going to follow her lead every single time. She's not going to follow mine. And our corporate partners have that same attitude, and as well as they should. It's their resources. And so by your budget size, by your mission type, uh, as Becky also mentioned, by your physical location, there are going to be restrictions. And of course the uh, presence is also that there's only so many products available. You know, when I talk to new donors, and we'll talk a little bit later about some exciting new donors that are going to be coming to the site soon, that uh, I offer them two guarantees. One is that none of our partners go bankrupt for philanthropic purposes, which means we put boundaries and limits that help them be as generous as they can be. And that is definitely something that our nonprofits that come to TechSoup really have embraced that they understand that to be able to get great resources, there has to be some give and take on this. And so my thanks to all of you. And one of the things, if Becky, if I can get off topic for two seconds, you know, one of the things that most people do not understand about TechSoup is that when you see an administrative fee, as you see here for the Cisco products, not a penny of that goes back to Cisco. What that is, it's the one time that nonprofits pay a small administrative fee, pennies on the dollar, directly to TechSoup in recognition of everything that we 
make possible for you. And in return, what you guys do is something magical. It means we're not waiting for the next government check or a foundation grant that has lots of restrictions about how we do it. Every single one of you that has ever made a request from TechSoup makes it possible for us to serve the world and every nonprofit without restriction. And so if you haven't patted yourself on the back about that, you should because that's an important thing and we can't ever thank you enough. Because if we were limited to traditional uh, giving cycles, we would never be able to be in 236 countries around the world and their territories and have distributed, I think we're inching up on Becky, $9 billion worth of technology around the world. So when I started, we were a little regional nonprofit here in the San Francisco Bay Area. and if every single one of you made that growth possible. So thank you for that. Uh, Becky, can you go back to the hardware page? Because I know that we have I think one more thing which is probably the Dell products. Yeah, New Dell hardware. And so I'm going to skip that one and let our friends at Dell talk about that. But what I can tell you is that as we look at different models, we've tried a whole variety of things. We've tried putting you know, refurbished products on the site. We have partnered with folks like Dell to create um, affiliate programs where they bring special discounts forward for nonprofits. And one of the things I love best about Dell is that they were the very first organization to not just make nonprofit discounts as part of their day-in, day-out delivery, but they allow your staff and your volunteers to also receive these same benefits. Um, that's also something that I'm delighted to say that Matt and Sparrow Mobile allows for, which is part of how I was selfish enough to convince Becky that these guys should be specially spotlighted because when you know, we all know working in the nonprofit sector is tough. And that if you can get extra benefits and somebody recognizes the hard work you do and the safety net you provide to society, People like Sparrow Mobile and Dell really should be congratulated because that's uh, a benefit that we all can appreciate. So Becky, anything else you'd like me to uh, dig into? Great. Thank you so much for that, Gail. I just want to show people one more time how we got to this section where I'm going up to this product catalog on the upper left side of my screen. I can scroll down and get to our Hardware Center, and that's that landing page that Gail and I were, that she was talking about with the four tabs of Mobile Beacon and Dell and Refurbished Computers. There's also tabs where you can just look at networking equipment for those folks who are interested in setting up your servers and VPNs and firewalls and switches and need that kind of equipment, and then our Refurbished Computer Program. And since we do have Chris on to talk about Dell, I want to spend just a second going into the refurbished computer section of our site. I showed it in the tab, but I just want to show how to browse this section because there are so many machines that come into this program. And as Gail mentioned, these are factory refurbished. These are business grade. So for example, if a company like General Motors, I'm just using them as an example, if they go through and switch out computers every two years for their tens of thousands of staff people, they may have 10,000 computers that they're putting out of service after two years of use. Those are still high-end, great business-grade machines. And so we've got partners who are refurbishing that level of a machine. And you can search for them by laptop, by desktop. You can search just for monitors, and you can also extend warranties. Depending on the refurbishing partner, some of them have a 90-day warranty. Some of them have a one-year warranty. So read those details to see what makes the most sense for you. But if you're looking for laptops, for example, you can click on that in the drop-down, which actually had loaded already, and just scroll on down the page to see some of the laptop options available and what kind of warranty is included, what comes on the machine. So you see you've got Office 2010 Home and Business. You've got a one-year warranty. Um, you can see if you've – so these include your Office Suite already many times. They include your um, operating system. Some of them are Windows 7. Some of them are Windows 10. So again, look at those details. But it goes on and on and on down this page. And these are just laptops. You can look through any of these different categories. And of course you can find the specific model numbers when you click into the specifications. So you can do a quick search online to see how it rates 
by all of the different business standards and you know, read your CNET reviews and things like that before you request anything. But you can look for these. We also have tablets in here. Um, which there was a link on that main hardware page to the tablets too. And then you've got your standard business, um, business place towers for example, like your Dell Optiplex machines. And these again are the refurbished ones. Um, Brian, or I'm sorry, Chris will talk in just a minute about um, the Dell program for the brand new Dell hardware through our affiliate program with them. But I just wanted to show kind of the variety and what to look for when you're looking at these spe specifications. So for example, if you want this you know, Dell Optiplex 780 Desktop Core 2 Duo, Windows 10, comes with Office 2010 Home and Business and a one-year warranty, you can click to view those details. You can read the specifications. You can learn about the eligibility. Look at the details on this hardware. And then if you decide you want it, you log in if you are already a TechSoup uh, registered organization. Um, and then you can add that to your cart. Easy peasy. Now these typically ship directly from our partners who provide these. So if it's coming from Interconnection, which is a company up in Seattle that does factory refurbishment, it's going to come directly from them. Um, if it's through the Dell Affiliate Program, it will come directly from Dell. And you get to choose some shipping options. Uh, shipping is free unless you need it expedited for all of these. And our refurbishment program also includes free take back. So at the end of that machine's life, you don't have to pay to have it electronically recycled. It includes sending it in to have it recycled at no cost to you. So it's pretty amazing in that regard as well, and, and a good green option. So Gail has something she wants to add here. Yeah, just before we get into our other two participants uh, that will have some exciting stuff to share with you, I just wanted to call out a couple of quick things. Is that many of you talked about the need for projectors. Our, our friends at InFocus bring us um, a it's an ever-changing mix of products that they have uh, low inventories on at very special prices. Particularly, I'd love you guys to check out the InFocus uh, projector that you'll find on the InFocus page. That is a, a value that is the best you're going to find in the U.S. And so that's a very exciting uh, program. And I don't think it showed up anywhere on your uh, poll list, Becky, but we also do have a robust program with Pitney Bowes for those of you that are doing physical mailing. And so we're trying to always increase this. And so one of the things I'm hoping to learn from this at the end of the webinar are where your pain points are and what hardware I should focus on bringing forward to the next generation. So Becky, thank you for letting me jump in. Absolutely. So yeah, I did include kind of in the general office equipment category, postage meters. So I'm just showing that on the screen. And if you noticed uh, watching where I was browsing, I browsed the first time to the hardware center, but you can also go directly to the refurbished computers or to the networking equipment. But then I also just browsed by donor or company, and I went directly to Pitney Bowes for the postage meters. I went directly to the Info, InFocus sorry, uh, partner for the projector which also had like sound bars and other interesting some tablets. Um, I also want to show one other one before we have Chris come on because for those of you who said you were really interested in AV equipment, in addition to the InFocus um, uh, projector that was mentioned, I wanted to just show JourneyEd really quickly. And I have their page loaded up on our site. And this is another uh, affiliate type program where they are a partner and you pay a small fee to us, $10, and that gets you access to a whole range of donated and discounted products through their site. And I can show it really quickly because, and I call this out because of the AV equipment uh, being the second highest that you all voted for in the front end. Um, you can't access this site without paying that $10 admin fee, but they have a whole bunch of different software, hardware, AV equipment, classroom tools. So if you have an after school program or something and you need classroom sets of software or uh, kits for things, electronics, they have a lot of different things. They have, um, but I wanted to show they have a variety of tablets and desktop and notebook computers as well. So this is another resource for you. They often do have um, uh, iPads that are refurbished. So we don't have a lot of Macs in our catalog. They do come in and out sometimes, but if you're needing Macs, this is a good uh, 
another resource to look to. But they also have a whole section of music and video production. So if you are needing video cameras, if you need sound boards, and you need uh, – you know, they've got a wide variety of projectors in their program. They've got headphones. We also have a Headsets.com program on the TechSoup site. But there's a lot of other things that are available in here for those who need AV in particular. So I would really recommend checking out the Journey Ed program if that's something you need. And Gail is going to weigh in one more time here. Uh -oh. I promise I'm almost done. But the one thing you should know about Journey Ed is that this was a unique partnership, and these folks are part of the world's biggest educational resellers, and they have gone to their partners and again made a special request to extend their educational program discounts to nonprofits who reach us through the TechSoup catalog. So Becky, just wanted to make sure that they knew that these are just not regular reseller environments. It's really a very special negotiated relationship. So thanks. Yeah, absolutely. And previously, people couldn't access this unless you were a K-12 through or a university educator. So this is a really great opportunity to access some of those additional types of programs that um, now we have through this partnership that Gail helped create. So I'm really glad uh, to show that as an additional option. And before we switch off completely uh, to our other guest, I also wanted to highlight the TechSoup Boost program. Because this is a program that TechSoup has put together, and I kind of see it as our annual greatest hits program <laughs> because it's a one-time fee for a one-year subscription. It gets you access to a number of uh, donated tools or waived admin fees, um, training resources, access to uh, memberships, and things like that. And it kind of gives you a starting kit of resources to, to access. And so for example, you can get the Adobe Photoshop and Premiere bundle. So these are software or subscription benefits. But there are also hardware benefits. So here are some other subscription benefits. Deeper discounts on hardware available through this. So for example, you can get these wireless headsets. You can get this Core 2.0 Desktop Windows 10 machine uh, for $99 as part of the Boost program. You get additional discounts on the Mobile Beacon Hotspots. So I just wanted to call that out because a Boost subscription is $99 for a year for small organizations, and I believe it's $129 for mid-sized organizations with a budget up to $2 million. And it gets you access to all of these things. Many of them are free. Some of them are reduced, uh, additionally reduced uh, or donated. And in it also includes things like trainings. It includes um, a $25 voucher toward anything else on our site that you want to request to reduce the admin fee on another purchase of anything. So a lot of benefits that come with the Boost program as well. So just wanted to mention that because it does include some hardware uh, benefits. So now I'd like to go ahead and have Chris come on the line to talk to us a little bit about the Dell Affiliate Program. And I'll go back to that page, which again going through our catalog, I can browse by donor or company, and I can just go to Dell and click on their name. And I'll go ahead and mute myself so Chris can come on and tell us a little bit about the Dell Discount Program. We're really glad to have you on today too, Chris. Thanks for joining uh, us. Thank you very much. And uh, uh, thank you everyone for allowing Dell to be able to talk to our nonprofits. Uh, I, I've got to tell you, it just gives me such joy to know that we can partner with people that are really out there to impact the community, our people, our environment. And, and I, I would say that I, I would love to try to help you get there. Um, I can definitely talk a little bit about what the Dell Affiliate Program can do uh, from a discount perspective, but I'll start with this. You know, you know it's, it's hard sometimes when you're talking about all this technology, all this different hardware and software and services. It can get really tough. And what you do best most likely is impacting the community around you. And what we do best is helping you guide, they guide you through our solution services and our technology to help impact that community as, as well as you possibly can at the lowest cost you possibly can. So obviously uh, TechSoup and Dell are partnered together to put you in the same playing field as some of our big large companies that we partner with to give you the special resources dedicated to ensure your company's success. 
Now we do have a quarterly discount offering section that if you go through the one year membership, you will have access to those uh, discounts for exclusive member discounts for business and personal use. So earlier than I mentioned, not only do uh, does your business get this benefit, but also your personal use for with our personal products as well. So I think that's something that we can definitely uh, help, not just your business, but everyone in your, in your uh, site that works for you that you can recognize. You know, I think one of the best things about Dell outside of our hardware is the solutions and the success of those solutions. At Dell, we do have a lot of customer stories that will talk a lot about you know, the industry or services or the type of services that those companies provide, uh, as well as locations and that uh, we've had success in. So whether you're looking at security, storage, how to get um, your end users' devices like their uh, smartphones or their Apple products, how to secure those with sensitive information, we have the expertise on our end to help guide you through that. So you're spending less time trying to figure out this world of technology and doing more time in your community and the people in the environment you're around. Uh, obviously, these exclusive supports and services are for you. A lot of challenges I find that when we work with nonprofits is, is trying to understand sort of the tax exemption facilitation. Uh, that's one of the things that our dedicated U.S.-based small business advisors can do, help you with, is walk you through that tax exemption process, which as you all know is sometimes very convoluted and, and difficult depending on the state. Um, so we can walk you through that. And we have a host of people around that really get you there. Um, at, at the other side of it too, you know, we're not just there at the point of sale, but after the point of sale. Sometimes things go wrong. We don't want you to be out there down uh, without uh, being able to communicate and collaborate and impacting your community. So we can be there for guidance up front uh, throughout the entire process, and then afterwards to help you uh, resolve any issues you might have, and then think long term about where do you want to be. Um, at the end of the day, there's a lot of technology refreshes that happen, and we can identify your needs and even the needs of your people and help you build a workforce of tomorrow right now, today. Um, so uh, we're very, ha very happy that we have the ability to partner with our nonprofits and libraries. We do have a specific website that, for exclusive member discounts. We do have a U.S.-based small business advisory team that will be walking you through that process to be able to get the best discounts that we have, um, as well as the service and solutions that are great for your business. And then any challenges you might have, where it would be tax exemption um, certification through our Dell.com process, uh, we're there for you. So um, again, very, very happy to be able to uh, work with you. Um, there's no limit to the amount of people we can help, or the amount of computers we can work with, or, or the discounts uh, that we can work with you as well. Obviously, the, the website that we have for you to look at and the, that we'll present if you get into the membership has uh, those discounts right on the web, very easy. Um, but if you work directly with our, our uh, small business advisors, we can help bundle the right solutions for you. Uh, there's a lot of technology outside of just the hardware, whether that be security, storage, other software, that we can show you what we can do. It was interesting when I was watching all of this uh, uh, through this demonstration, I looked at a lot of the technology that's out there. I'm thinking, hmm, I know a guy for that. I know a girl for that. I know people that can help out in each one of those items that we're presenting today. So really wanted to be there. So let's talk a little bit about the savings. You know, we have Optiplex desktops. I think that was one of the top recommended uh, desktops that was out there that was searched uh, on TechSoup, Latitude desktops for business as well. Um, then we have a lot of really amazing ultimate PC experiences uh, through our XPS line uh, for our home use uh, Inspirons, um, as well as if you're looking at a little bit more design and professional creators, we have our professional uh, precision line. And then at the end of the day, uh, servers, storage, networking, we have it all. Um, and then don't forget about your, your electronics and accessories and software. If you're looking for displays or, or docking stations or uh, 
any types of client peripherals, you know, we can help you walk that through too as well. So again, we have a lot of quarterly discount offers. We have seasonally high discounts, so which is coming. Uh, and we want to be able to uh, help you out through that entire process. And uh, I don't know if there's any other questions you had for me, but again, thank you for letting Dell be part of this affiliation program with TechSoup and its members. Uh, we're really looking forward to working with you. And if you sign up, we'll be reaching out to you to walk you through that process. Thank you so much for that, Chris. And I just to want, want to add on to that that you request that one-year membership for the $10 admin fee, or it's included if you get a Boost subscription so you don't have an additional $10 to put out. And that gives you access to this page. And the reason I can't actually scroll down on this page or even show you the full link is that that's what you get access to with that $10 fee. And that gives you access to those coupon codes uh, to get those additional discounts. But once you do that, you can make as many requests as you want in that year. Uh, yep. So you, you only request the, the access one time, and then the next mm -hmm. year if you need to buy other hardware, then you pay to get access for another year for 10 bucks. But you can, if you know that you're coming into a period when you're going to be needing to replace out uh, the hardware, whether it be uh, you know, replacing out laptops for your staff, or you need um, docking stations, or you need desktops, uh, that you can get that and you can place multiple orders throughout the course of the year. And that, that's done directly through Dell, so you get access to that expertise to help you figure out what makes the most sense for your organization's needs. And like I said, it's the $10 fee comes to help su support TechSoup's programs and our ability to continue expanding those. But we have lots of helpful articles and guides and uh, resources that are available here through TechSoup as well to help you select the right hardware for your needs. Um, and all that. organization types are eligible for this as well, uh, regardless of their operating budgets. So this is one that is wide open to the organizations that are members of TechSoup. So if you're not currently registered with TechSoup, it's totally free to do so. And then you pay the admin fee for the programs you want to access. So if you wanted to access this Dell Affiliate Program, you'd pay that $10, and then that would get you access to their additional discounts um, through their site. And they've got cameras. They've got laptop bags. They've got all kinds of stuff that I'm always like, wow, I had no idea that they did that. And I've always worked on Dell machines. I'm on a Dell Latitude myself right now. Uh, so Chris, you wanted to add something else? I apologize. Yeah, I didn't mean to interrupt. I, I forgot to mention as well, um, you know, if you have a, an issue, uh, I think one of the questions is on there right now, you know, if the discount doesn't work or who do you need to call, we will call you. You will have a dedicated small business advisor for your company. So if you need anything, of course you can call the 1-800 number, but you will also be given uh, a contact for one of our uh, agents to be able to reach out to you proactively to work with you. So again, once you move into this uh, uh, membership fee, uh, we will be proactively sending you uh, information about us and how you can touch with us to help you out. And then finally, one of the things I forgot to mention was the Dell Advantage Rewards, the finance solutions uh, that we also have available. Uh, so you know, when you sign up for Dell, you're also getting Dell Advantage Rewards, which allows you to have free second business day shipping and up to 5% back on your purchases that you can put right back into your technology needs uh, with Dell. And then finally, you know, sometimes we need to have financing solutions, and we also have that to ensure cash flow options that help your business needs. So uh, remember with Dell, we have the dedicated people. We have the Dell Advantage Rewards for you, financing options, and obviously the discounts that can help you uh, through everything. All right, thank you again, Becky. Yeah, thank you so much for that, Chris. And uh, you know, I know Gail mentioned this, but just to add to that as a reminder, that the Dell program is not only for your staff at your organization, but it can extend to I mean it can extend outside your office too. So for example, before the holidays, Dell had a whole bunch of special things for their affiliate program that they put out, and I could use it to buy my husband a laptop because it was open to us to use as well as our organization. So I thought it was pretty fantastic that we were able to get access beyond just what our office needs were, that this program actually extends out so you can use it to support your community. If you serve people who need access to low cost but high quality equipment, that you may be able to access it through this and make those purchases on their behalf too. 
So I want to go ahead and switch gears now to have Matt come on and talk to us about the Sparrow program uh, because I, I want to be conscientious of time so we can get through everything. And I'm going to go ahead and just browse by donor again and go to the Sparrow program on our site. They were previously called Better World Wireless. So if you were familiar with them a few years ago, they have changed names um, and expanded their I think really uh, inspiring business model. I can say that myself uh, after having known Matt for a number of years and really appreciating the work that they do to bring mobile technology that you can actually feel really good about working with. So thanks so much for joining us today, Matt. Tell us about Sparrow. What is it? How do people access it? How does it work? Great. <clears throat> Thank you, Becky and uh, Gail. And TechSoup, and great to follow you, Chris and Dell, uh, and your great partner in the community as well. And uh, thanks everyone for for being on the call today, and for for all the work you're doing in your communities and for the world. Um, you know, Sparrow was actually uh, started with uh, uh, alongside TechSoup and the TechSoup community, and uh, uh, you know, we're really excited. At the progress we've made and, and uh, been, been able to uh, over over the years now uh, really grow and improve all of our offerings and what we're doing. And at the core, uh, Sparrow is a national wireless carrier, uh, resale carrier, uh, bringing the buy one give one business model essentially to uh, the mobile services market. And so, for every customer that signs up, uh, every retail customer we donate a uh, device or service to someone in need through one of our, our giving partners. And uh, we're excited at this point to have over uh, TechSoup uh, uh, customers uh, from the TechSoup community in over 30 states uh, now on, on, uh, as, 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 our, as customers. And really moving to uh, the dynamic and, and what uh, the market is and the opportunity from a buy one and a give one standpoint. Uh, you know, it's hard to believe that it has. It's almost been 10 years, uh, just a couple months short of when Steve Jobs stepped up on the stage and, and held the first iPhone for the world to see. Uh, uh, this thing has become, you know, alongside food and energy <laughs> and water, kind of uh, the, the fourth uh, fourth component of our lives, and. Uh, you know, you have more mobile subscriptions than people in the country. And then at the same time, you have about 43 million people living in poverty. And I know many of you are, are serving them and, uh, and helping to make their lives better and help them to, you know, to get out to self-sufficiency. And we estimate that about half of them uh, don't have access to uh, modern, reliable mobile phones or service. And uh, there's actually a new uh, 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 research report from Pew uh, Research Center on this uh, in, that's just come out, and uh, I was going to post that up. I'll, I'll put that up at the end of the uh, at the end of the session. That really supports that and describes the dynamics of, of how that's happening. Uh, so our promise to our customers and to the community is is to the customers we're going to we're going to provide high quality, the highest quality possible possible service. Uh, and, and also with a real high touch uh, customer care, uh, fair transparent pricing, and then to the community uh, the give, on the give one side that we offer uh, you know, through our partners uh, really high impact programs that are, that are changing, uh, changing lives. And what that looks like essentially through some examples of, of programs that, that we have uh, ongoing today and that we've done over the past few years in the areas, our main areas of impact are youth, women, refugees, and homeless. And you can see many of the names here uh, in the organizations uh, are TechSoup members and uh, mostly nonprofits in the communities uh, serving uh, homeless and refugees and, and causes for youth and women. And uh, some examples of those with Rush University, for instance, uh, to the left, uh, using mobile and apps and platform and bespoke services to uh, work with homeless youth uh, around uh, mental health issues and sleep issues and uh, Black Girls Code where we donated devices as part of our launch and uh, 10,000 girls across the country have learned how to code on Android devices as a result of that. 
Uh, our refugee mobile program is, uh, has a great write-up on the uh, TechSoup site, uh, and that's a year and a half long. So it's a mix of devices or service and both uh, that we're uh, uh, donating as part of that. So that's the impact that comes out the other side, and I would welcome any, any folks on this call you know, that if you have a need or you have programs that are using mobile, you know, to contact uh, my information is at the end of this presentation. Please reach out, and, and you know, we're, we're, uh, we'd love to discuss uh, you know either side, you know, providing mobile services to the organization or staff, and, and your volunteers, as, as Gail and had mentioned, uh, that we we offer it to the whole community, uh, as well as on an impact front, um, that there might be a, a way for us to work together there too. So in, in highlighting why, why Sparrow uh, on the retail side and on the, the, the buy one side and the services we provide to TechSoup members, we offer a 5% discount on services, 10% on devices, and the benefits are across the board to the organization's community. Uh, we, are, we have high quality network coverage. We're on multiple networks. Uh, and in most areas, you know, the, the networks really have become mature. Uh, and the difference between them becoming much smaller. Um, we have fair, you know, we, 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 we strive to have the, the, the fairest transparent uh, pricing and plans uh, that are simple, no gotchas, uh, and, and we've done this, like I said, alongside TechSoup community the whole way. So uh, we're very focused on, on a hands-on type of service, on a concierge type service, and I'll describe that on the next slide. And then the social impact that's coming out the other side, which is, is uh, a full circle into the community that, that we're serving here with TechSoup. On devices, we're, uh, we're actually relaunching uh, our, our pages and the, the products and services uh, as, as we speak. Uh, it will be happening. And please, anyone who wants access, we'll give you a pre uh, preliminary look, and you can be the sort of first ones in on if anything I'm talking about sounds interesting. Uh, just email me, and I'll be happy to send you that link uh, uh, to the landing pages before they actually go up in the coming days. Um, but the, uh, on the new uh, offerings that, that we have and that we're putting up, uh, we're uh, from, from left to right offering uh, mostly refurbished factory uh, factory certified uh, re refurbished devices, which are the highest quality, like new devices, uh, but at a, uh, uh, you know, obviously a discount over what you'd have to pay for new devices. And, and the refurbished market really has grown up. I mean, this stuff is all happening at lightning speed, and, and it's such a common thing, and everybody has one either in their hand right now or they're using all day. So it's not like we can necessarily teach you uh, what, what it's all about because everybody's using it every day. But what we can do is take advantage of the market dynamics that are going on. So instead of us trying to put all the devices on here that are out there, there are a lot of places where you can get uh, devices. And so we offer our concierge service as well. So customers call us and say, hey, I'm looking for this particular type of device, or this is what I want. We'll go out and help them find that and then bring it onto our network and offer our services via that. Uh, we're also uh, putting out donated Google Nexus 5 uh, devices, and that's part of this new, uh, and, and again, I can send you those links. Uh, there's a, a limit of, of five per organization, and it is coupled with our service, but these are great devices. And uh, so for, we have a limited time, uh, limited quantity, but uh, those, are, those are going live. You know, again, as we speak, and I'm happy to send you that link. And then we're going to offer uh, uh, on the new pages uh, a curated small set of Apple and Samsung devices as well that will be changing as stocks roll out. But uh, we're going to look to have you know the best quality, best price point, and what what folks are, are looking for uh, there. And you know, so refurbished has, has grown up so much; it's really the best best choice for the environment. As the, the technology curve has really started to tail off as well, the difference between a, a five, a six, a seven, you know, it's becoming less and less uh, as it goes on. So then the refurbs really make a lot of sense uh, on, on many different fronts. And um, moving on to the service and the pricing bundles, we've factored in the 5% discount here. and. Uh, so the numbers are, are, are not quite as round as they always are, but you'll see that we have uh, different levels uh, offering 
you know, unlimited voice and text on everything, uh, and the uh, you know per uh, gigabit is, is changing uh, as you go to the more expensive options. And then we offer uh, family, uh, you know, quote unquote family uh, pricing either as an organization or for or for families uh, for an additional twenty dollars per person per device. And again, the networks that we're writing. Uh, we have multiple, so we're able to find the, the best match for where you are in, in your community. The other uh, thing to, to discuss is the Just Plan, where we offer, uh, and this has actually been fairly popular in the, in the community, uh, is uh, just paying for what you use at a fair price. The, the discount isn't factored into this because it would make the numbers not so, not so pretty to look at, but uh, there is an additional 5% off of this. And for TechSoup members, and uh, uh, you know, if you're not using a ton of, of services each month, this is this is a, a great. Or, or if you have a group uh, of five, ten, fifteen, twenty folks in your organization, this actually ends up being a great uh, uh, way to uh, trim costs. We've seen that, that in a lot of cases, paying for a block plan with a lot of people, this actually ends up saving uh, quite a bit. Of um, so that is, uh, that's really, I, I see we're coming up to eight minutes before the hour. So I'll stop there and just uh, focus on questions and whatever else we have left. But thank you all again for the opportunity to speak with you. And uh, please get in touch. Uh, I'm Matt at SparrowMobile.com. And we'll probably show it on the next slide here too. So back to you, Becky. Thank you, Matt. I really appreciate you talking about your program. And I love the buy one, give one model. I think that's really um, a great way for other nonprofits to support programs that support our communities, right? That need, that need access to technologies and help close the digital divide that we see uh, ever widening as communities that have resources uh, grow in their access and their broadband and communities that don't uh, lagging far behind in many parts of the world, including in this country. So I'm really glad to have you talk about your program. Um, I've gotten a handful of questions about where to find, um, where to find tablets on our site. So I'm going to go back to sharing my desktop really quickly and just show again um, our product catalog and how you can browse for different hardware. So I'm going to just click the Hardware Center. Um, you're right in pointing out that we didn't talk too much about tablets. <laughs> um, we talked mostly about laptops and desktops, and that's what's featured on this page. But there are a lot of tablets. Uh, it just really depends. As I mentioned, stock comes in, comes out. We get new models all the time, just like in the regular computer market. Um, you know, Computers are ever-changing, <laughs> and there are always new models. Um, so I recommend looking through in particular the um, refurbished computer program which has some new products as well. So you can browse the RCI catalog. Um, and I will just click through here and show here that you can – right now we just have featured laptops and desktops, monitors, and warranties. But there are often tablets in there. Um, it just is a matter of kind of looking around. You'll also see in um, – I know in the in Focus program, there's a tablet in there. You know, so you may want to just search our site in this little search bar for tablets. So there's this you know, In Focus Q tablet. There's this uh, – well, that's an, a monitor. There's keyboard cases to add to that tablet if you want to be able to have a keyboard attached to it. So there's things like that. And JourneyEd also has a number of tablets. Um, we don't have a specific call out for tablets in here right now, but depending on the stock we get, sometimes we have more and we will have a call out for tablets. So I know that's not a great answer to how to find them, but it is one way to search because it really does depend on the stock. Like I said, sometimes we get Macs, sometimes we don't. <laughs> sometimes we have iPads, sometimes we don't. Um, and in general, we don't have a lot of Mac uh, hardware because we don't have a donation program with Apple. Um, so it is largely PC based um, across the board. That also goes for what we find in JourneyEd where they may have some iPads, but there's not too much with MacBooks and across the board because we just don't have uh, donation programs uh, with Apple directly. 
Um, I have answered a lot of questions in the chat, but I also just wanted to show before we get to other questions and start wrapping up that if you are not sure what you are eligible for, that the best way to move forward whether you are already registered or not is to click on this product catalog and scroll on down to check your eligibility. If you are already registered with TechSoup, this will bring up all of the donation programs and discount programs for which you are eligible. If you are not registered with TechSoup, you take a quick little quiz that is popped up on my screen. You answer if you are a C3, where you are located. And again, this is, uh, the TechSoup.org site is for U.S.-based organizations. So if I just pick Michigan, my home state, I, oops, I can scroll on down and I select my organization type. And these types are based on the IRS's NTEE codes. So we didn't come up with these categories. These are the way the IRS designates different organization types. And I can say I am a youth or activities type of organization, or whatever most closely matches your work. Um, and then I can select my organization subtype, and I can say that we are a youth development uh, program. And again, you may find that your organization legitimately could fall under multiple organization types. So I recommend do the quiz multiple times because you may find that one designation opens up a wide range of options and another is more narrow. And if you legitimately do that work in good faith, there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to access the one that has the wider, more open eligibility. You enter your roundabout of your uh, organization's operating budget. I'll say we have a $30,000 operating budget, and I'll check my eligibility. And it will take just a second to load. And bam! I've got a whole list of the programs for which my organization is likely to be eligible. And whether you know what all of these programs are or not, you can click through to learn more about any of these at your convenience because all of this stuff is likely uh, eligible. You're likely eligible. Your organization is likely eligible to be able to receive donations or discounts from all of these different programs. So I definitely recommend check this out. If you're already registered, you log in first and do that quiz, and it'll show you the same thing. But it'll only show you the ones that you are confirmed to be eligible to request from. Now that doesn't mean you haven't necessarily met your quota for the year. If there is a limit on how much you can get, if you've already requested, you may not be able to request more until the end of that year. But those are programs that you know you can look to and find out uh, more about. Um, feel free to use the search bar. Uh, feel free to check out these different hardware sections of our site. And feel free to browse directly to the donors and companies that we discussed today or any other ones that you're interested in. You know, if you want to see about the Cisco, oops, if you want to see about the Cisco uh, options available to you, just go to Cisco. You know, if you know what you're looking for, somebody earlier mentioned Microsoft Server and Microsoft Server CALs. They don't need the physical hardware, they have a server. Well, go to the Microsoft program and you can find that. So it's not that hard to get around, and we hope that you'll take the opportunity to check out some of these programs and many others. There are a lot of slides in the slide deck that you can um, that help take you through some of the tour of the resources. And it looks like we've answered most of the questions. Um, Daryl asked, how often do InFocus and JTouch monitors come available? I check the site often. I don't know, Gail, if you have an idea of how often those come in and out. That's a really good question. Unfortunately, the tablets, which is the, you know, had been one of the most requested items in, in, in Focus, only shows up when they have inventory that they can share our way. So I, you know, I have the same issue that you have. So it is one of those things where um, the best thing I can suggest, because the last time we had the JTouch big display screens, I learned about it that we had 12 that we could distribute. Our team rushed to put them up, and so sometimes it's you know, not even a day notice before it goes up and down. And then Becky, one quick thing. Can, I think Matt needed to clarify something about the Nexus phone, so I'm going to let you put him online. Sure. Go oh, ahead, Matt. You, I'm sorry. Yeah, thanks. Real quick, I, I think I forgot to mention the Nexus 5 devices are donated, so, and, and they, they, come, they come with spare service uh, that, is, that is discounted. But, uh, they are they are donated uh, great great value and uh, great prices. So just wanted to make sure I got that through. Thank you. 
Yeah, Great, that's kind of nice you. to be. To be able to go through and have phones that you don't have to pay off on your bill for month after month. So that, that donation is really generous. So thank you for making that possible. Thank yes, you. thank you. So with that, I want to go ahead and wrap us up because we are at the top of the hour. I would love it if you would chat in one thing that you, our participants, learned during today's webinar that maybe you are going to go and check out or something you are planning to implement. Maybe you are going to put together your hardware plan and put your business budget together for getting these uh, hardware equipment pieces ready to, to get in the next few months for yourself. Maybe you're going to register before fiscal year end. Um, we also would ask that you take a minute at the end of this to complete our post-event survey so that we can continue to improve. I wanted to point out really quickly other ways that you can learn about TechSoup and learn to increase your own capacity around technology. We have this great new course platform where you can find it at TechSoup.course. TC to see our full catalog of courses you can access 24-7 at your convenience. Uh, many of them are free. Check that out if you want to learn and increase your tech capacity. And join us for our other upcoming events. Next Tuesday we have two events. We'll be talking about nonprofit security best practices, and then we'll be talking about Adobe InDesign in our new 30-minute quick webinar format called Tuesday Tech 30s each Tuesday at 12.30 Pacific, 3.30 Eastern. You can also join us next week to talk about how nonprofits can be compliant with the Microsoft Cloud. So if you are in Office 365 or any of the other Microsoft Cloud products like Azure, learn how to stay compliant uh, with any regulations or laws where you may be uh, required such as HIPAA or PC I compliance, things like that. Um, and then we will be talking about Adobe Illustrator in our next TechSoup uh, Tuesday Tech 30 on the 25th, and we'll be talking about advocacy at the libraries with digital storytelling. Thank you all so much for joining us. Uh, you'll receive this follow-up email from me in the next few days. Thank you to Matt, Chris, Gail, and Susan on the back end. And lastly, thank you to ReadyTalk, our webinar sponsor, for providing the use of the platform today for our use. Thank you so much, and have a terrific day. Bye-bye everyone.